welcome back to NSK TV with myself, Leighton. It's Thursday and it's time for some more balloons. But before we do, quick question. When is an apple not an apple? When it's a pineapple. Yes, with all this sunshine, all this glorious weather, it's got me in the summer feeling. So, randomly, we're gonna make a pineapple. We're gonna use two balloons to make this. It's a very simple design. But I thought, if you're having a barbecue, you're having friends over, because things are changing, you can have friends in your garden now. Maybe decorate the table for a barbecue. Just want to live the spirits up and make things that feel a little bit holiday vibe. Make a pineapple. All right, so I'm going to show you how to make this. You need two balloons for this. You can use a yellow uh, balloon or basically any colour you want. But I'm going to use a goldenrod balloon. 260 for my actual pineapple and then I'm using a winter green for my leaves. You can use any green you want. All right, so I'm going to stretch those both up first of all. Now, we're going to start with a golden rod. Keep it nice and simple. And we're going to blow to about four fingers length at the end, four or five fingers. There we go. Four, five fingers left at the end. We're going to wind it, get a little wind out, and then pop our nut in it. Now you need to divide the balloon down into five equal segments. So, in this one here, we'll just go on roughly eight fingers. All right. I find that works best for me. So if you're going to follow the same, I've got my eight fingers. I'm going to give it a pinch and a twist. And then from there, I can just fold it over and eyeball it up against my previous one. So I'm going to give it a pinch. There we go, you can sit now. Give it a pinch and a twist. So they're the same length. Now, what we're going to do from here is take this knot and wrap it around that twist. You can see, there's the knot, and I'm just wrapping it around. And then what I do with it is I pat it through the middle, all right? And that will stop it from coming undone. That locks it in. There we are. Two segments. We need five segments. So, sun's not making this very easy for you, is it? That's why we're making pineapples. It's nice and sunny. So we're going to measure it up, make sure it's the same length. I'm going to give it a pinch here and a twist. There we go. Oh, made it too big now. Pinch it and twist that the way. I'm going to do it for you guys to see. So we're now making segment number four. It's always a little bit trickier holding it to the camera to see, so I'm just going to do it. There we go. There's our three and four. And we're just going to twist those two together. So you've got this so far, all right? It's a very bad moustache disguise. Hello? <laughs> From there, I don't know what I'm doing. We now have got too much here. We've got too much left over. So what we need to do is measure it up, twist it off, and we'll give it about five twists, and you twist with one hand, you hold with the other. Now, you need to cut this off. But you need to keep quite a large bit left over. Now, you can just stick your fingers in and pop it. Or get your scissors. Now, make sure you're pinching this bit. Don't just cut it because it, it will deflate and you've lost everything. Make sure you're holding this when you cut it off. All right? And just take off the end. There we are. Just cut it off properly. And you now need to tie a knot into this section. So just the same as tying your knot when you blew the balloon up. Now I'm just going to be extra precautious. I'm going to pop in a second knot. There we go. So I've got one, two, three, four, five segments. Take your first four and fold them up together. And take your last one and fold it up. 
So we've got this. Just going to open, just going to open at the bottom a little bit and let it in. There we go, now it's better. And you're going to wrap that all the way over into those remaining across the top of the nut. And then you're going to put it through. Still opening this up as I pull it through. There we go. And now we've got a much rounder shape. You can see from there, it's rounded off. And we can pull that through to nice and tight. So that's the top section. You can see it's rounded in. It's open up the little bit of it in. Now, all you're going to do, you've got to pass this through the pineapple a few times. Keep it nice and tight. Now you can let that go. All right. And you just open to, to shape it. You just pull the segments out a little bit too trapped in. Pull this segment out here. And you can put that one in a little bit. There we go. So you've got a more rounded shape. When you first put it together, it looks a bit square. So we're going to pop that to one side for a minute. Now this isn't a difficult design, you've already noticed how easy that was. The most difficult part is the next bit. So, let's see how you get on. We're going to blow the green balloon up half, which I tend to find is two pumps. Yeah, you can see loads are left over. Two full pumps are your two-way pumps. If you've got one of those pumps only blows, and you pull it in, you're going to have to do it four times, aren't you? So, for my leads, I'm using three fingers, so I'm going to give it a squeeze and a pinch. And give it a really good twist because the difficult thing here is they may tend to keep popping out. Now, this is the hardest bit, keep it nice and flat. What you're looking to do is push the balloon backwards and then grab it with your holding hand and pull out lots of flex. So there's no air in there. That's the most difficult part. So you're pushing the balloon down on itself and then you pinch it to give you all this loose flex because then you're going to wrap that down your balloon and you're going to wrap it around the knot. See there? And you're going to... I've wrapped it around the knot. So now to lock that in, I lift up the strand and pop the knot through and give a little tug. And that will now stay in place. So I'll show you this bit again, but the, what you need to do is wrap around the knot, open up that and pass the knot through it. It's not that difficult, but it's difficult to try and show on the camera. So we make the next few leaves, three fingers, pinch, twist, soften the balloon up and watch. I push the balloon down, so I'm pushing the air away and I pinch and pull all that slack out. Wrap it down the balloon and then wrap it round the base. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it through and then I'm going to wrap around the first leaf to stop them coming. So I've wrapped around the base of both of those. First the leaf I made and then secondly around the previous leaf. We're going to do it again. Three fingers, give it a pinch. Plenty of twists, push it down, pinch it and pull that flex out, the slack that we just made. Take it down into the centre of the balloon and wrap it around, okay. taking it through and then around the balloon and then take it around the second balloon. So now I've got three balloons or three leaves dum 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 we're going to do that three more times but before we do we're going to make a tiny space of bubble pop lots of twists in because again the first one might be a little bit difficult to see how tiny that is that is let me show you little finger size from here we're back to three fingers 
three fingers, give it a pinch, plenty of twists, pinch it, push it in, pinch with my modeling hand, pull out the flex, and wrap it around the base of that balloon. Repeat the process. Three fingers, give it a pinch, twist it off plenty, pinch and now push in, pinch with your second hand, there's the flex, take it down, oh, we could do it a little bit more actually, there we go, got a bit more, but that's going to be a bit too tight, wrap it around the leaf that I'm just making, and then wrap it around the previous leaf, and that will keep it in. We'll shape them all up in a minute, but we've got one more to make. So, three fingers, give it a pinch, push the air along the balloon. You can see I'm pushing it out. Pinch it, still got plenty of air, pinch it, get my flex, pull it down the balloon, and wrap it around the base of that first balloon, that's the one I'm making, and then take it around. the previous balloons and that will make sure that they're all nice and secure and won't come out now you want to face all the balloons up so these bits are on the inside there's my first three space and then what I'm going to do with the bottom three is space them in the gaps yeah so we've got that now you could Leave it like that because I've only got a little bit on and just knot it and tie it off. But if you're doing it and you've got lots left, you would make your three fingers, you pinch it, you cut it and you tie a knot. So I'll show you. That is sufficient because it's not a lot left there. But we'll go through the process just to make it easy to remember. So there's not a lot there. I could snap it off with my finger, but as long as I'm pinching this, I'm going to show you with the scissors because it's probably the way you're going to do it and then I tie my knot keeping it pretty tight it's the end of the balloon this is all going to be very disappointing if it goes down so I'm being extra secure I'm going to tie in a second knot and then I trim off any major excess excess all right now you've got pineapple leaves and the pineapple with no top. So, taking all this slack, put it nice and tight, place the pineapple leaves on top, put it nice and tight, and you thread it in and over and get the best angle, your leaves. I'm going to push it back through the pineapple that's coming out the other side and I'm going to take it around one of the other leaves and the reason I'm taking it through the pineapple you don't really need to do that but I'm making sure it's nice and secure and I'm making sure that I get all of those base leaves and now I'm just going to leave that inside because I've done all three base leaves and the reason for doing all three base leaves is just to keep it nice and secure and supported and there is your pineapple now if you're going to use it to decorate your area that you're having a barbecue or friends over just make a flower now we've made um petal flowers before which is great but i'm not going to teach you to remake them it's in the previous tutorials so you can pop back on those I'm going to show you how to jazz them up and just to keep that summer spirit whoops that wasn't meant to happen didn't stretch it enough let's try another one waste of a beautiful balloon my neon balloons kids love these I'm using these because it's the summer for some reason the neon colour just screams summer now we're not going to use all of this balloon so it doesn't matter if you blow off all the way to the end I'll just get that three pumps. Make sure it's nice and warm. Don't want it popping on me again. Three blows. 
Now, what we're going to do is we're going to make a three petal flower with both and then twist them together. So, this is how you make your flower petals. You just got to keep going and get the full flower. So, I bend it over, I roughly make my flowers at about three fingers. So, you can see that bend. As we did with the first section of the pineapple, we're having a pinch and twist. So now I've got a twist and the nozzle. We're doing the nozzle this way so you can see it. I take the nozzle over my twist and then push it through the petal. That's now locked in, that's not going anywhere. Alright? And then repeat that process, but without pushing the nozzle through. Three fingers, give it a bend, give it a twist, twist the petals together. And then I'll run the balloon over to keep it nice and secure. One more time, three fingers, give it a squeeze just to soften it up. You see that three finger works out in the same size every time. I pinch where I want to twist, and then I twist. Now it's time to twist the petal and then twist it into those previous petals. Now I'm gonna stop there with three. If you were making an actual flower, you'd want a minimum of four to make an okay flower. Five is what you're looking for. Six is beautiful. Six are the best flowers. All right, so three fingers, give it a squeeze, make it soft, bend it over, size it up, twist it, and then pull your nozzle over the top of the twist and then run it through so it's locked in. Repeat the process, three fingers, give it a squeeze, bend it over, give it a pinch, so it's big, and twist it into the previous petal and then run your balloon over it to lock it in. Final time, give it a pinch at three fingers, give it a bend, pinch it where you want the twist to go in, Twist that petal in to the other petal. Now, we've got two lots of those. So what we're going to do, we're going to put them back to back. And you are going to grab one of each colour. I'll show you that from there. So they're back to back. I'll support them with my hand over the top. And I'm going to take two at the same time and give it a twist. So I've now got this. So I'm going to go over to the opposite side, take two at a time and give it a twist. Straighten them all out. My orange petals somehow end up being slightly bigger and you've got a multicoloured flower petal. So what you're then going to do with that is your, put your scissors and give it a cut. You don't really need to worry about putting a knot in this, but if you want to be sure, pop a knot in it. But what you're going to do with that is just run it through the petals, twisting it around until you run out of any slack and it pops out your fingers and disappears inside there. Same, we don't need all of this now, so we're going to get rid of it. You can use your scissors to cut it. Now, I've not thrown these bits straight in the bin. They go in my scrap bag. Always keep your scraps, yeah? Don't get rid of them. It's basically money. You might find later on that you need, oh, I just need one little bit of neon orange to finish it off. And you haven't got just one little bit of neon orange. You've only got four ones. So you've got a waste of four balloons. Yeah? So save them, you never know. Now, pineapple, fancy colour base. Just the same as putting the pineapple top on. You put the pineapple on the top of your flower. The last little bit of strand, we've not red wrapped this around the flower petal because we're going to wrap it through the pineapple. Pulling it down nice and tight. We're going to go through a couple of times to make it nice and stable. And there we go, we've run out. That pineapple is going nowhere, it's nice and sturdy. 
and you can now pop that around your garden for your summer barbecue or just a meal outside or wherever you want to make it feel more summery. If you keep your scrap of orange or blue or whatever you've got, you can take that, pop it in the flower petal, give it a little twist so it's nice and secure, take the other end, give that a little twist into the flower, so you've got a loop. You've got pineapple bracelets to give away for people. Get into the summer mood. Spread a little, yeah? Happiness. So, there we go. There's a couple of things you can do with that. Oh, here's an idea for you. While I think about it. Got any of these knocking around the house? Headbands, you don't really wear them. Well, you've just got that twist. Thread it through a couple of more times, it's a bit tighter. I've got pineapple hat. He's got a pineapple on his head. He's got a pineapple on his head. So there's a few things you can do with this, guys. I hope you enjoy it. Enjoy the sunshine. Enjoy NSK TV. Keep yourselves happy. Keep yourselves safe. Take care. Look after yourself till next Thursday for more balloons with me. For now, bye-bye.